Today I'm here in Kenya with Father Washira. He's the pastor of St. Martin of Tours Parish in Sultan Hamid. Father Washira started a children's rosary group here in this parish, but also in his prior parish of Rambo. Could you share with me a little bit about your experiences with the children's rosary in your, your first parish in Rambo? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I started a children's rosary uh, for two years. And uh, what that rosary, uh, what rosary prayers has done, uh, it is amazing because we started small and uh, it ended up to be very powerful and a very strong prayer and project in our parish there back at Rombo. We started with very few uh, children of 20, uh, like 20 or 25, but we ended up having thousands in the parish. When we started, uh, nobody thought that uh, the children rosary was going to spread like bushfire around the parish. We started uh, with a very few animators. Everybody, after that, everybody wanted to become one of us because of what the rosary uh, had done around the uh, Rombo parish. So we started with uh, like 20 kids. But later, when uh, I was being transferred from Rombo, we had uh, like 2,000 children from different uh, part of our parish. And uh, everybody wanted to become part of us. We were praying rosary, and uh, we saw how our mother Mary is so powerful, and he cannot let you down when you pray through her. And I think you mentioned it was in 21 of your 24 outposts of the yes. parish. So quite so the majority of them. And you also said, shared with me earlier, some of the fruits that you saw that came from this, things that the children brought in prayer and the things that they saw that come, came from entrusting concerns they had in their families. And, and then what happened? When uh, we started, we had so many broken families. We had so many... Uh, uh, parents who are irresponsible in their family and especially the fathers. So when we started praying a rosary, we saw some of those parents who are very violent, who are irresponsible, coming back to the church and changing their former way of life and becoming good Christians in our church. And this one was so encouraging. And especially when the kid comes and tells you, my father is now in the in the church. My father has come back now into the church, and it was so encouraging. We saw uh, parents who were fighting coming back again because of the prayer of the rosary. I saw parents who had separated coming back to the to the church and coming together and vowing to become one uh, in that family. So. And also when uh, we had some problems in, in a certain parish where Christian could not see face to face of each other, we went, uh, Rosary became a uniting factor. Children prayed for their, uh, for their leaders. They prayed for their church and church members were there and they came back united and they were, work, they were ready to work together. It was amazing. Mm. It's a beautiful testimony. And I think you also mentioned to me that there was a peace that came over the area too. Yes. That, and that, didn't you say that the peace uh, that I heard you share earlier, that the peace actually, when you have peace present, it draws more people to want to come to church. Yes. When, when, there is, uh, uh, when there is no peace, it brings a lot of disunity in the church. But when there is peace, everybody wants to come back again. A lot of a lot of uh, fight when there is a lot of fighting, especially when there is a misunderstanding of one another in the church, in small Christian community, people tend to run away from each other, and that is how some of the churches uh, we were not able to to give them to offer services because there were no people. But when we started this rosary through the, their children, we saw. Uh, churches 
mushrooming. We had also started three outstations that were not there because they were mm. people are willing to come and uh, 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 they are willing to come to pray with us through the rosary. This is, uh, I attribute this through the prayer of our Mother Mary. The, uh, she is so powerful that we had to start three outstations because they were ready to come and to join us. Well, and I can imagine as a parish, uh, as a pastor of a parish with so many outstations, you can't possibly get out to each of these outstations every week. And so it's hard to keep those outstations connected to your main parish and to to be, and to stay strong. Did you feel that the Children's Rosary helped those outstations feel connected to the main parish and also grow in the interim where you couldn't actually be there every week? Exactly. You see, we were only two, but the, those uh, outstations were so many. When uh, we had uh, these uh, prayer groups, uh, different prayer groups in the parish, they used to make Christians going through their prayers. The animators who are there to assist them, the catechists who are there to assist our, our children, and the church was moving. It was moving. Even when I'm not there, the church was moving because prayer was there and it was making every person uh, move in faith. Right, and, and the children would come together in these outstations. They wouldn't come alone. Usually the, yes. the parents would come. So yeah. as the children are praying and leading the prayers, the parents' hearts are also opening yes. and also beginning to develop a prayer life. That's yes. not the primary goal of a children's rosary, which is the primary goal is to support the prayer lives of children. But but then the secondary effects you start to see in the families, that they, yes. they start coming yes. too. Yes, yes. So there's just so many multi-layers of effects that, that you're describing that happened in your parish. Yes. And do you feel like implementing the children's rosary was something that took a lot? I mean, does it does it require much in the way of resources or um, expense, or is it fairly simple, would you say? Uh, I think it was very simple. I did not use a lot of money because kids, they only need small things, and then you make them happy. They don't need so many, a lot of money, expensive things. They only need small things to make them happy. And giving them a rosary, that was enough. Showing them the way, that was enough. And praying and encouraging them to pray even at home, that was, that was enough. So our kids were even uh, teachers in their own homes. They were even encouraging their parents to pray. Even before food, before they sleep, everything they were doing, they encouraged even their, their parents. And that one changed the, uh, our parishes. Uh, it changed our parish, it changed our families because they were there and they were leading from the flood. Instead of parents leading now, it was the kids that were leading their parents. Mm. Mm. And then now that you've been reassigned to this parish, having seen what happened in your previous parish, You've been trying to establish these groups here, and you're in your early phases of beginning these these groups in your new parish. Yes. Uh, from uh, oh, from where? From Rombo. Now I'm in Sultan Hamud. Now I want to to encourage and to move for, uh, through that route, through the rosary. I know rosary is so powerful. And now we have started in different outstations. We have started from the main outstation. Now we are moving to other outstations. Out and uh, also I want to penetrate into the schools mm. so that we can, uh, we can bring everybody on board and we move together. Because when I, I get into the, all the schools, I know things will change. Because most of them are in school and I'm, I know I'm going to change uh, so many lives through the rosary. Well, we will pray for that because I agree with you that the schools are a wonderful place because they can, you can uh, affect so many children and you could have a weekly children's rosary right built into the school day and having the different classes praying at the same time or however the school is able to implement this, this allows this to become into the fabric of the children's lives. And this is something they can draw on for the rest of their lives. And 
and the and the nice thing about the rosary too is that the rosary is not a is not a sacrament. So if there happens to be a child that's attending the school that's not Catholic, there's no problem because yeah. the the rosary is something that other people can pray, and there's no exclusion. If a child wants to join, exactly. they can. Exactly. So that's the I think the nice thing about the rosary is that it's very inclusive. Yeah, exactly because I have discovered that. Uh, there are so many families that they don't go to any 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 church. So when I go to uh, to the to school, I saw so many uh, so many kids joining uh, children rosary, and through that we are going to reach their parents. That's I think that's very a uh, very important point with this is that the children are at the center of the family. So if yes. you strengthen the prayer lives of the children, that's going to help their families because. Yes. The, the parents, their hearts are open to their own children. So if exactly. their children are praying, they are also going to start to experience and be curious and want to find out about what their children are doing. So yes. it's it makes a lot of sense that, yes. that Our Lady and Our Lord would to choose to work through children, to exactly. touch hearts. Exactly. And so much of today, people's hearts are hardened. So it's very hard to penetrate those. And I think Our Lady and Our Lord know that the hearts of children are pure and they're, they can work through them in a beautiful way um, where other things might not work. So exactly. it, I'm encouraged, I'm thrilled to hear everything that you're sharing, this witness um, of what's happened in your prior parish, what you're starting to see in your new parish with the groups, and what you hope to see you know, in the future. So we're gonna continue to pray for you, and I hope that this will uh, help to inspire other people here in Kenya, Africa, and the world to consider implementing a children's rosary in a parish, a school, an orphanage, wherever they are, they can start a children's rosary. Uh, and and really, um, the simplicity allows um, a lot of people to, be, to, to do this and allows our Lord to work through it. So exactly. thank you so much for taking this time uh, while we're here in Kenya to speak and to witness what you've experienced. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming and thank you for your support. We are here, we are, uh, we are wherever we are because of your support. So keep it up and may God bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank you.